Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got one for you today, a little hover effect if we go on down here. We've got a parallax section here with the little blue squares in it or blue call to actions and it's got an image background, a parallax image right there. When we hover over it that image is going to fade out and we're still left with our modules there. And when we let it go, it's going to fade back in again. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved with this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. So let's get started. If you enjoy this today, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It lets me know whether to do more on a specific topic or not. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is enable my Visual Builder. Let's go on down. And we'll delete the section that we've got here and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to delete the section, the blue tab, and I'll add a new one. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside I'm actually going to put a column of five. I'm only going to be using the three that are in the middle. The reason I'm doing this is because we're going to use the actual row itself for the overlay. So there's a column of five. Let's not put anything in it for a minute. Let's put our background image in our section here. Go and choose whatever image you want. I guess I'll use that same image again. And there it is in the background right there. I'm going to use the parallax effect. So I'm going to turn this to on. And I'm going to use CSS Parallax, which is going to make it basically fixed background. So it's going to stay where it is as we move up and down there. That's great. While we're in the section, I'm going to remove any padding top and bottom to make sure that our row is going to be the same size as our actual section here. So I've gone to the Design tab. Going to go down to Spacing. Going to put a zero in. For the padding top and bottom just put the zero in it'll put the picks in hit the chain it'll do the bottom for you as well okay let's save that now we've got our row here i'm going to make the row full width so it fills the whole of the section here to do that i'm going to go into the row i'm going to go over to design and sizing i'm going to slide the width up to 100 percent I'm going to copy that control C and paste it in the max width below or you can just type it in if you prefer. Now we've got a row that stretches the whole of the section there as you can see. We've got no modules in it as yet. While we're in the row I'm also going to give it a bit of padding. So I'm going to shut up the sizing and just below you'll find spacing. I'm going to give it 100 pixels top and bottom for a bit of space. Obviously you put in whatever you need. Again, just put in the number, it'll put in the picks, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. All right, well, let's now put in the modules. And I'm only going to use the central three right here, so it looks like a regular sort of column of three like this. Okay, so let's put a quick call to action module in there, and I'm not going to do anything to these modules, I'm going to leave them as generic as they are. And there's that one, I'm just going to duplicate it drag it across and one more time to represent some modules here and obviously you can put whatever modules in you want this is all about the background today so great we've got a parallax image in the background there which is great it's working with the section but when I hover over it I want the image to fade out into a white background now you can do it the opposite way around by just flipping the what I'm going to do here if you want to have a white background that fades into an image. But to do this today we're actually going to work on the row itself. So let's go into the row, little green tab right here, hit the little cog. I'm going to go down to background. But I don't want any background on there until we actually hover on it. So common to most Divi modules, if you go up to the dark writing here, You'll find some little icons. If they're not there, they'll appear when you hover over the writing. I'm going to hit the little arrow. That's going to enable us to set a hover state. 
a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state for when your mouse is on it. When the mouse is on it, I want it to have a white background. And as you can see, that's covered up our image completely. Like I say, if you wanted to do it the other way around, you could put the white in for the desktop and have nothing there for the hover state and the image would fade in rather than fading out. But I think when you're rolling up the page, it's nice to see the image first for the parallax effect. All right, well, that's going to work fine. But the default time that that white color takes to fade in there is 300 milliseconds, which is really quick. I want to slow it down dramatically to cause more of a sort of fade out, fade in effect when we mouse over and take our mouse off. To do that, we need to go to the Advanced tab, go down to Transitions, and here's the transition duration. As you can see, there's the default 300 milliseconds. I'm going to put 4 seconds in or 4,000. Now, if you slide it up, it's only going to go to about 2. And if that's not enough for you, just type in what you want. So 4,000 milliseconds, that's 4 seconds. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as their mouse, or at least start happening as soon as their mouse hits it. And if you watch any of my hover videos before, you know the transition speed curve I like to use is ease in, ease out. They're all slightly different. Check them out. Different circumstances, some will work better than others. But for my hover effects, I tend to use this one. Great. Well, let's save this and see what we've got here. And we'll save the page changes and exit the visual builder. Roll on down to where we were working. There's our animated dividers in the background there going crazy. There's our little parallax background image with our little modules inside. Now when I hover over it, it's going to start to fade out and turn white. And that takes four seconds right there. Then when I let it go, it'll fade back in again. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. It's going to be a little attention grabber. Like I say, you can switch it around the opposite way if you want that image to be coming in from the white background. We'll do that quickly. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Roll on down. And I'm going to go back into my row. Remember, we had that color on the row there. I'm going to go down to background on the content tab. Now I'm going to put the white color in on desktop mode. And I'm going to have no color on hover mode. So I'm going to hit the little trash can to remove the color. And as you can see, that image is fading in. When we're not hovering over it this time, it'll be a white background. So let's save this and see what we've got now. Exit the Visual Builder. OK, let's roll on down and see what we've got. There it is. There's our little image now with a white background. When we mouse over it, it's going to fade into that parallax image, as you can see. When we take the mouse off of it again, it's going to fade back out into white. So there you have it, guys. There's how to get a parallax image and fade it out to white on your section background and you can reverse it and do the opposite obviously so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day